Hey there Clashers, it is your host Galadon. You are watching Clash of Clans Attacks. Today we have another exciting Clan War episode and it is also a Let's Play episode so it is sponsored by Free My Apps. It is the recommended way to get free gems in Clash of Clans. You can also help forward this series if you want to see more, you want to get free gems, click on the link in the description and you can help out. So let's get right into today's episode which is the closest Clan War ever. That had a winner, from a statistical standpoint anyway, and yes, I realize there have been no doubt many other wars that ended with the same score, but still technically, although tied with many other results, it is the closest. No purchase necessary, void port prohibited, always consult a physician before starting a new exercise regimen. So let's get right into the kickoff of this clan war, and let me tell you, it was probably the most exciting beginning I've ever seen to any clan war. I'd never seen anything like this. Battles going on all over the screen, everywhere you looked, flashing swords, clashing with each other. We had exclamation points pointing in every which direction on both sides. Of course, my base being attacked right away, and I was pretty happy with my base layout, like those centrally located air defenses. But here come the mass dragons, three rage spells, and it is not looking good for Galidon's base. But we move on, we take a look at some other attacks. We've got all sorts of people attacking. Uh, we go in and take a look at another attack in progress. We've got Ting, King Takar here attacking Sumaj, and I can't even tell who's attacking who anymore. The clan names are the same, only discernible difference, one exclamation point. And it looks like we've got a bunch of balloons moving in here. The balloons are already down, a bunch of wizards left, so we'll see how that ends up anyway. We move on, we've got all sorts of swords everywhere. Whole bunch of attacks going on at once. Uh, so many people attacking, there's not that many people watching, so it's no problem getting in to watch some of these. Here we've got JMO attacking. That attack just getting underway. We move back out here. We're gonna look at another one. Here we've got Black J attacking Warrior. And it uh, looks like, again, full dragons going in from the bottom. A couple of uh, rage spells there. So the mass dragon raids, super popular at Town Hall 7. Uh, so we'll just kind of move around here, take a look at some more of these attacks. It's almost every possible person seemed like they were on. So many attacks going on at once. Here is another mass rat dragon. And uh, this actually, we're going to take a look at this battle in length later. It turns out to be the most heroic attack uh, from one side anyway. And as you watch the top tally there, we're already behind 15 to 11 stars. Only a few attacks completed. The stars are just going up mid-attack. Uh, both sides just going crazy. We're going to take a look here. Cool Fool is attacking our Dank. And he's brought in, looks like mostly balloons and a couple of dragons and a rage spells. And so he's going to move in from the bottom of the base. But we're not going to have time to look at the entire attack. There's just too much going on right now. We watch these guys moving in. It looks like Cool Fool is on his way to a three star here. Certain domination with all of those air units against only two air defenses. We scroll up and now we are behind 2015, 2016, 2116. It is just too quick to keep up with only five attacks completed on our side they've already completed 10 attacks but we obviously have a lot more underway this is going to be an exciting war cannot wait to see how it turns out it was very evenly matched i think there was only one or two town hall eights on either side and it was almost all town hall seven so unlike what you see a lot of these lopsided attacks it was really nice to see uh, a very well balanced clan war matchup between full attack and full attack and so we are going to fast forward a little bit further ahead in the war and see how things are progressing. Now we did start to pull out to a little bit of an early lead and you'll see that lead widen here as we look at some slightly later images of the war as it's underway. Here's the battle summary screen. We're ahead 35 to 30, but it is misleading because with so many Town Hall 7s, Town Hall 7's such a sweet spot. You've got the dragons. They are so overpowering. You've got to pretty much three star every single Town Hall 7 base. So here you can see, almost two hours in, we've got a 102-83 lead with almost the same number of attacks executed. The clan is feeling pretty good about themselves. And then later on, less than four hours in, we've already got 143 war stars, and it is looking good, 143 to 110, but no doubt, full attack with two exclamation points is on the comeback trail. And a little bit later, the lead is diminished to 149-137 and soon we realized it would come down to the very top base. You see it on the screen there, Will R-72s had only been two starred. We had 149 stars. So we will fast forward to the conclusion of this war and we lost by one star, one measly star, 150 to 149. My old full attack clan achieves total damage 
three stars every single one of our bases, 50 three star attacks. We only managed 49 three star attacks. It's that one two star attack that made all of the difference. We could not three star their top base. Uh, which was a Town Hall 8. Now the interesting thing here is we go take a look at this most heroic attack, Shah Zeb of our full attack clan, achieving a 3 star victory over a Town Hall 8. This Georgie's base here was a Town Hall 8, was the ranked number 2 base on the opposing clan. And it was not that much different than the number 1 base. I think the number 1 base uh, just had a level 5 Barbarian King instead of level 3. So try as we might again and again and again, and you'll see shortly how many times we did try. We could not achieve an attack like Shah Zeb did on number 2, a 3 star Town Hall 7 attack against a Town Hall 8. And it doesn't look good at a point here as Shah Zeb is attacking. Most of his dragons go down, but he does manage to get that last air defense down. You see the dragon zooming in with the very last of that rage spell they take out the last air defense and that is the misleading thing about these type of attacks despite the fact that there is almost 40% of this village remaining without a single air defense left even with two wizard towers it is not going to stop these dragons they are very overpowering at this level and we're gonna speed up the rest of this attack and we will see that Shah Zeb winds up with a three-star victory the king coming in at the last minute from the very top of the screen to help out and just in time, the last of the dragons and the king wipe out the very last structure and it is a three-star victory, one that we could not duplicate on the number one village and it did cost us the entire war. But that's okay, it was still a fantastically fought war, great participation from both sides. It was a lot of fun to see these two clans match up. We're going to look at Jorge Yao, the uh, Town Hall 7 version of Jorge Yao here, with the most heroic attack on the opposing side. And uh, this was interesting, it was a, came against a Town Hall 7, but was voted most heroic by the system, probably because the attacker brought little baby level 1 dragons. A mass dragon attack, but even level 1 dragons were able to uh, just wipe this village out completely, despite the fact that you see a higher level defending dragon come out of the clan castle. Heal spells, the first heal spell, way to the outside of the village. The dragons melt through that defending dragon, melt through the rest of the village pretty quickly, even without the help of any more spells. Those lower level air defenses just not enough to slow them down. Again, dragons so overpowering at Town Hall 7. If you can afford to produce them for Clan War, you are almost always going to end up with a three star victory. So we will take one more look at the enemy clan's roster, and there you can see Will R72, 23 defenses. We attacked him 23 times and couldn't manage a single three-star victory with all of our Town Hall 7 dragons. So there it was, the sole deciding factor in this, the closest possible clan war with a victor. But congratulations, full attack with two exclamation points, well done. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please do check out my other videos, like, comment, subscribe, download free my apps, use the link in the description below. You can earn some free gems and help forward this series. And I will see you guys again very soon with more full attacks and full attacks and full attack. Galidon. I don't think you said full attack enough in that episode.